It's gotta be pay- Oh, never mind. Hey, welcome back to our Stupid Directions Units. This is Corbin. This is Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram. Instagram. And Twitter. Twitter. For more. For what? You know what it is. Oh, you know what it is. You know what it is. It's why you're here. Oh, yeah. Except for those of you who skipped the intro. You. Say it. No. I know. Uh, but, uh, you can, uh, Patreon. Hams, ham. Where? Thank you for, thank you for the patronage. Your patronage is great. It's finally happened. What? You've lost your mind. That was gone a long time ago. Yeah. That's right. Uh, but, uh, today we are reacting <laughs> to a... You said, but. Tourism video. Cool! For a Carnatica. <laughs> Which, I know why you're laughing. <laughs> we know where that is. We know where that is. We know where everything is in India. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if it's up yet, but maybe you know why I'm laughing. Uh, but, uh, read the synopsis. Sure. Where? And that? Southwest India? We with, know. With the Arabian Sea. Arabian night! Arabian Sea coastlines, the state of Karnataka is a tapestry of colors, cultures, flavors, landscapes, timelessness, and spectacular beauty. So it's India. Yeah. <laughs> you're just Cool, we haven't done one for Karnataka. Karnataka. No, not yet. Um, but yeah, Beautiful. You're for describing India. All of you who have said please do one for Karnataka, Thanks for your patience. And here we go. Also, this is awesome. all the other states. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we will get to all 29 of you and then the eight, as we know. Oh, yeah, it's different. like if this was like an American channel and they wanted us to explore each state, oh, somebody man. would want us to explore North Dakota for yeah, some of reason. Of course. But we would. In Wyoming. <laughs> but you don't, you don't really want to. <laughs> <laughs> but India is prettier than North Dakota. <laughs> here we go. I bet Wyoming's you quite pretty. I'm good. Bad. Bad. <laughs> here we go. is renowned the world over for its unity in diversity. And there is one state that exemplifies this par excellence. Aww. One state that plays home to multiple worlds, thriving together in harmony. One state that has become a hotbed for tourism because no matter what colors your world, Check. You'll probably find it here, in Karnataka. The film aims to capture the glory of the many worlds wow. that call Karnataka home. Wow. Here we go. From ancient history to breathtaking geography. From the Western Ghats to the Western coastline. From cultures that have stood for centuries to modern cosmocultures. From bustling metropolises to pristine nature. From a thriving economy to heartfelt hospitality. Is that train? I think it was. Whatever you seek, whatever your interests, there is something Whoa. for everyone in Karnataka. Cool. Some of the most powerful empires of ancient and medieval India thrived on this very soil. Monuments wow. that pay tribute to the glory of these wow. erstwhile empires are amongst the most popular historic attractions in the world. In the world. Hambi is oh, one of the most sought after destinations with its UNESCO heritage tag and dating back over 500 Sorry, years. While Badami and Patrakal are glorious epitomes that date That's back cool. over a thousand years. The intricate workmanship of the Vijayanagar empires and the Chalukya dynasty can still be like witnessed after America. all these yeah, centuries. Right? Yeah. Belur and Halibut are world famous too for its architecture, craftsmanship and rich heritage. Wow. Black. A fitting tribute to the Deccan style of architecture is the over 400-year-old Gold Gumbas in Bijapur. Holy crap. 
like the largest monolithic statue of the Gomateshwara at Shravana Balagola, there are cultural and religious centers that still attract devotees from the world over. That's built into the hill. Look at how huge that wow. is. Talking of living history, the opulence of the Mysore Palace <coughs> talks of a more recent past. In fact, the Mysore Palace gets the second highest footfalls when it comes to foreign tourists in India. Could Get funds like, for the tour world yeah. where kings and queens rule, where history comes alive in a landscape that is bountiful. Talking of landscapes in what is the seventh largest state in India, the variety is nothing short of breathtaking. Nurtured by the nourishing waters of the Krishna Nurture. or Bhadra and the Kaveri and their many tributaries that make for some of the oh. most beautiful waterfalls in the country. That's awesome. I want to go Whether there. it's the sheer volume of the monsoon fed Shivana Samudra or the defiant oh. heights of Jog Falls, they make for spellbinding views. That doesn't look too unfamiliar. Talking of heights, Karnataka also plays home to the Western Ghats. The epic mountain range that runs north to south on the western half of the state. Making for scenic beauty wow. that is unparalleled. That Mexico. The hill stations of Kuog and Chikmaglor, to name a few, are immensely popular oh, okay. for their locales, mm. climate, and outdoor travel experiences for the discerning traveler. Considered one of the most biodiverse ecosystems in the planet, Ooh, wow. it boasts Boxes. several endemic species of flora and fauna, <laughs> and also plays home to 27 sanctuaries and five <sighs> national parks. Being highly sought after for its large oh. number of elephants and tigers, Nagarhole National Park, along with Bandipur, make for one of the largest tracts of unbroken forests in the country. Kabini has emerged as the Kabini. most popular destination amongst wildlife enthusiasts. Oh, okay. With a range of safari yeah, lodges, including several luxury and budget options, boat and jeep safaris, wildlife tourism in Karnataka has boomed over the last few years. With the mountains gently running into the Arabian Sea, Karnataka is also blessed with over 300 <coughs> kilometers of pristine coastline. Beaches abound with sun, sand, and surf. Oh, baby. It is a beachgoer's paradise. While Gokarna's own beach uh -huh. is the most iconic, that there are right plenty there? of oh, quiet and mesmerizing goodness. beaches strewn along the coast. Uh. With adventure options slowly cropping up, whether you are seeking some adrenaline yes. or solitude, yes. Karnataka's geography yes. has something for you. If your world is filled with colors, then there is plenty for you to see in Karnataka. Talking of plenty, if there is a city that is known for its plentitude, it has to be the capital Bengaluru. Not only was it voted the most dynamic city, but it has also been one of India's fastest growing cities for over a decade now. It is also amongst the most diverse cities in the country, thereby opening up many avenues within the city. Pub city, uh, yeah. culture city, garden city, Silicon Valley of India, education city, art capital, and many, many more. Bengaluru has become one of the most popular cities, not just in India, but in the world. That's beautiful. Karnataka is paving the way forward to a melancholic tale of royalty with a golden chariot. A luxury train that indulges you with the best of Karnataka. I think that's a train. Is that From heritage really festivals train, yeah. such as the Serra and the Maha Mastakabhisheka that draw pious pilgrims from all around to the latest music festivals that gather revelers, everything from ancient culture to modern marvels. 
There is one thread that holds everything together, no matter where you go in the state. And that is the heartfelt hospitality of its people, making for warm welcomes, hearty food, and everlasting memories. Dotted with a whole host of staying options, from luxury hotels, to eco-resorts, from exotic homestays, yeah. to budget accommodations. So whatever your budget, Karnataka will gladly welcome you. No matter where you call home, you cannot be too far away from reaching our shores. With one of the busiest airports, the International Airport at Bangalore is connected directly to Europe, UK, Asia, and even to the US. With multiple airports, a large railway network, and an extensive road network, Karnataka is well connected within and to the outside world, with services ensuring that no matter what your destination, you will find it accessible. So the next time you plan a holiday, welcome to our world. Remember, this is but a glimpse of the many worlds that call Karnataka home. Maybe you will discover your own, but for an unforgettable holiday, all you need to remember is one state, oh. Karnataka. Fine, I'm canceling all the other places and I'm going <laughs> That was beautiful. Holy cow. That was gorgeous. Yeah. That looks like it had literally everything. Right? Uh, <laughs> those waterfalls are insane. Oh, uh, man. I would... I want to go there. I hope. I was thinking about stupid babies that write to us and, and uh, thank us all the time for... Um, reminding them or reintroducing them to their country and their culture. Mm -hmm. I was just thinking about how I really hope there's a lot of stupid babies who stuck through this whole thing and you were thinking to yourselves, man, I got a pretty freaking amazing country because mm -hmm. everything, everything. Mm -hmm. Like the, we have diversity here in terms of topography. The United States is an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous place from coast to coast mm -hmm. and, and has everything in our state. Here has almost everything you could imagine as far as geography yeah. and, and, and weather that you could enjoy. But just what we don't have is some of these more tropical looking things that are comparable to what you, you see in Hawaii. These yeah. massive we, waterfalls, yeah. we have, jungle atmosphere. We have Hawaii because we stole it. Yeah. Um, and Alaska would be... It's the wilderness. most, yeah, be the biggest wilderness uh, frontier in the United States. And in the Northwest as well. Uh, yeah, the Appalachians. It's not tropical, but it's... it's no, it's, the Appalachians it's are a lot of forests big. and stuff like that. Yeah, um, and the Rockies are big coming through the West. But yeah, tropical-wise, it's only really the places that we've kind of stole. Cuba, Puerto Rico, even though those technically aren't U.S., even though Puerto Rico should yep. be. Puerto Rico, <laughs> uh, Puerto Rico should be. Uh, but, you know, it's it's those places that, yeah. that it's because it's not technically landlocked United States. But yeah, you, you, you have to go to those places to find those types of waterfalls there. Um, because there, I've been to them, like the Virgin Islands and Hawaii, obviously, mm -hmm. has, has all that stuff, but not... Not like that. No. Um, but I'm sure you guys are like, we told you, that's why you need to come here. I know. <laughs> and also, should... I feel your pain. Like, all people, like, they always, in media, portray New Delhi. And, of course. And Mumbai yeah. and the big travelers. You don't see the beautiful yeah, we country get of India. Uh, you, you, like, you never think that this stuff is there. No, and if you spent a week in all 29 states, you, you, uh, you could do it. It would take you the better part of seven months to do it. It would mm -hmm. be fun. Take, you know, and even then, if you only had a week, you still, you're still oh, you're barely going to scratch the surface. Yeah, you're not going to see Barely. It. Yeah. Um, do a month and spend two and a half years of your life. Yeah. That was a great video. Beautiful. Too. It, it went over everything yeah. and, and all this stuff. So if there's other states of, that, uh, of tourism videos like this, let us know. Send yeah. them. Billion.